play a six chord right there. So that's the move right there. What's going on, everybody out there on YouTube? This is John of jsmjmusic.com, where we learn music and we love music. And on this channel, what we do is musical instrumental tutorials and videos, as well as provide tips, techniques, and strategies on how to better yourself in your musical career. So if that sounds like the channel for you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, hit the bell and turn on the notifications so you get every video that I send out. You will not miss a thing. To my subscribers, welcome back, you guys. Thank you for your support. We're pushing this channel right along. Let's go ahead and get started with the video right now. All right, in this video tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to do a movement. So the movement goes like this. Or you can do it like this. Or like this. So let me break it down. Now, I'm going to approach this differently than maybe some other uh, people would approach it. Okay, I want to let you know, a little background real quick, that... Um, I started out by playing by ear, so I didn't learn theory first, but I learned how to hear it, and then later on I learned how to uh, actually find out what I was playing, you know, with theory. So I appreciate theory and everything, and uh, we're going to use it, but we're also going to use our ears and, you know, some other things that may simplify this method. Now, if you already have a method where you are uh, able to like play in all keys or do or understand different chords by the theory, and that's you know, already taught, then that's fine. You know, keep doing what you're doing, okay? But this is for people that want to learn how to put together chords in all 12 keys, you know, with a different way of understanding. So here we go. So with this, you need to know your major scale in all 12 keys. At least know your major scale, okay? So if you know your major scales or, and major chords too, uh, that'll be good. And also minor chords and, you know, ma minor chord scales is minor scales as well. So if you know that, that'll be good as well. But we're going to focus, like, basically on the major scale. So the key, the movement is in C sharp. So we're here. So how do we get there? How do we understand it? So I'm going to let you into my mind on how I understand it. I'm The C, C sharp major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So with this C sharp major scale, I'm going to break it up to left hand and right hand. So with my left hand, I am going to play the four, then the three, then the two. Notice I didn't give it letters because when we go into other keys, it's going to be four, three, and two as well. So we don't have to think, you know, as much, you know, about the letters and everything. So four, three, two on the left hand. Now for the right hand, I'm going to play the six flat as a diminished seventh chord. Let me explain. Okay, this is how I kind of think maybe a little differently uh, than other people. You know, I'm going to go to the six flat of the C sharp major scale because that's the key we're in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. Let's, let me get this right. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. So now that's the six, but that's the six flat. So the A is going to be played as a diminished seven chord. That's it's just that simple. Okay, now if you don't know how to play a diminished seven chord, a diminished seven chord is just a diminished chord with the seventh of that scale added to it. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Easy way. Start wherever you want to start. If I want to do an A diminished seven, I start at A. Then I count up one, two, three, then one, two, three for the next one, and then one, two, three for the last one. It's a four note chord. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. So anywhere that I want to do a diminished seven, all I got to do is just count up three half steps or semitones. So one, two, three. I want to play C sharp, diminished seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there it is. That's how we play a C sharp diminished seven. So let's go back to our notice six, six flat. We're going to play that as a diminished seven chord. So our A diminished seven. And then the next one, when we go down to the three for our bass note, because that's with the four. Now when we go down to the three with our left hand, we're going to play the five as a diminished seven chord. So that's going to be the A flat or G sharp. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's your diminished seventh in A flat or G sharp. So, so the fifth has a diminished seventh. And then the last chord would be the two as your bass note. And one, two, three, four, you'll play that as a major seventh. So a major seventh, if you don't know what that chord is, it's a major, and you play the major scale. One, three, five, and then you put the seven on top. That's all it is. So it's one, three, five, seven of the scale, the major scale. So in F sharp, it'll be so one. So that's the F sharp seven, major seven chord. So notice we're using a little theory, you know, with the name and the chords and everything. 
Um, but we're saying two at the bottom and that fourth scale degree as a major seventh chord. Now, altogether, you would call this a different chord. Actually, you can call it a uh, C sharp six nine four over E flat. You can call it a um, E flat minor nine chord, or you know. So, but we're not getting all into that, you know, like that. We're just gonna F sharp, you know, major seventh. So that's the chord. So we go. Okay. So we got that. So that's how you move that chord. Now, another way you can do it is change the bass notes. Same right hand, but bass notes. So you'll play two, two flat, and then back to the two. Same chords. Six flat, diminished seven, then a five diminished seven with the two flat, and then F major seven, F sharp major seven chord, or the fourth as a major seventh chord over the two. Okay? So now um, you can uh, actually uh, play it and transpose it into another key. Let's go with E. So we got the E, E major scale. So remember, we're going to go one, two, three, four, three, two. That's my left hand. So I, since I already know the major scale, I got four, three, two. There it is. So there's my four. Now, on my right hand, I should be playing a six flat diminished seven chord. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six flat right here. So I should be playing a C diminished seven chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So for the that's the four right there with that diminished seven on the right hand. And then what is it gonna be? The fifth as a diminished seven after that chord. So one, two, three, five. So it'll be a B diminished seven. One, two, three, one, two, one, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're a diminished seven chord right there with the B. So C. And then B diminished seven. So that'll be the six flat and then the five diminished with four and the three. Now for the two, what are we gonna play? The fourth scale degree. One, two, three, four as a major seventh chord. Major seventh. Right there. So it should sound like this. Now we were just able to just transpose that easily by just breaking our chords up and left hand and right hand just by doing that. Hey, if you are learning something right now, if you're gaining some knowledge or some content, or if you're uh, gaining something from this content right now, go ahead and make sure you comment below. I would love to hear from you. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it as well. All right, so now let's move back to C sharp. Now, I'm going to play this along with a track that I made in C sharp so we can see how it, we apply it, okay? So here we go. We're going to do that. Okay, I'm playing a six chord right there. That's the move right there. Now I'm gonna do the next one right here. All right, so that's how you would actually uh, use it in uh, that key or use it with uh music and stuff you will use it to go to a two okay now also remember you can double it up too you can double them up so that move and then right there because it ends on there all right all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and show it by giving the video a thumbs up. You sure do help out the channel by doing that. So thank you in advance for doing that. You guys supporting the channel, all right? All right, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, hit the bell, turn on notifications so you get every video that I send out. Also, make sure y'all check out uh, the show notes and the links below in the description section below this video. And check out my other pages, my social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook. I got a group as well. So you can join a community that has a like-minded passion as well as you, okay? So you guys, this is John of JasonJMusic.com where we learn music and we love music. See you guys in the next video tutorial. JCMJ Music. Learn music, love music